still blessed in this place. The Lord is still blessed in this place. But I can tell you right now, He's still blessing my family. You know, what we, we do for others. God gives the resources. Yeah. And with that resource, it's what you do with it. And each time I would go to the store, I said, Lord, let your resource be in the store. And when I go in there, I take from his resource and I give it away. And I give it away. Did you catch that? I take what the Lord gives me and I give it away. So he is here blessing in this place. Because after I give it away, the Lord gives me more. Sometimes you have to give it away in order to and at this time, we're calling for our executive pastor, you know, the Hughes, to introduce our speed up hour. Amen. 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 It's time to hear from heaven. Amen. It's an honor and privilege to present our speaker. The Apostle Paul wrote a letter to Timothy, uh, give him a charge that so many things are happening. During that time, even today, it's happening in this world. Amen. Give a charge to preach the gospel. Told the preacher in season, out of season to rebuke, reprove, exalt, but all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when we will not hear of the sound doctrine. After their own lust, shall he to himself teachers have an itching ears to turn away from the truth but unto fables. Today I have the honor and privilege to present a friend, a brother. Bishop Mark Anthony Thomas, who was an auxiliary bishop for Virginia number one, Kojic. He was born August 1st, 1970, to the Bishop Ted Thomas Sr., general member of the Church of God in Christ, and to the elect lady in Battle Shallow, Clinton Thomas. After completing secondary education, Bishop Mark Thomas earned a bachelor's degree of arts, mass communication, 1994. After a master's in arts of education, 1997, from Norfolk State University, Bishop Mark Thomas served as an educator of Virginia Beach of Chesapeake Public Schools for 13 years. He also served as the board of directors of CHMC Holdings in Corporate Southern Virginia. He serves here at the New Community Temple Church of God in Christ as the executive pastor under the leadership of our pastor. Bishop Ted Thomas Sr. He serves as an assistant superintendent of the Central District under the leadership of Superintendent Leslie Thomas. <laughs> Nationally, Bishop Mark Thomas served as an adjutant overseer, conference chairman, president of the Eastern Regional International Youth Department. He is a loving father, married to the Naomi Kim Thomas for over 20 years. He's a proud father, great man of God, Man of honor, man of integrity, a man that people can look up to, and people look up to different sports, athletes, and celebrities, but he's a man who's saved, sanctified, filled with God's precious Holy Ghost. He is a man of compassion to do whatever he needs to to have the ministry to be successful. After this quiet people of Samantha selection, I would ask that you stand below the building and hear what thus says the Lord and the person of my brother. The Bishop Mark Anthony Thomas. Hear ye him as he brings forth the word of God.
people. I think it was Pastor Sewell, that Elder Sewell at that time who was here, who had that sign uh, made out of wood and it has been with us ever since. Uh, he used to have a radio program called The Reflections of Faith Ministry. And uh, we are actually about to birth a newsletter, an e-newsletter, uh, that should be coming forth sometime uh, within the next month or so. It's going to be called Reflections that came from that Reflections of Faith uh, Ministries. While we may not be on the radio as we were, amen, uh, by electronic means, things are happening all the time. And I believe if I leave to say any one thing to us today as a father of great faith, he would encourage us to keep the faith. Look at somebody and just tell them, keep the faith. Amen. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. When I think of our leader, I think of a man of great faith. Uh, while he's not just a man of faith, he's uh, like Paul to many of us, he's been a whole lot of things. Amen. In his lifetime, he's been an educator. He's been a businessman. He's been a mentor. He has been a builder of buildings and a builder of men. He's been an agriculturalist. In other words, he's been a farmer. Oh, my God. When I was dating my dog, my wife, amen, and we would come home and she, she said, let's go by y'all house. I said, well, baby, we go by the house. I want you to know, amen, if this is out there in the yard, we're going to end up in the garden. And uh, sure enough, we would go by the house, mother, and we get by the house, and I try to run in, and uh, we try to go on past, get to the steps. By the time we get to the steps, good. He, he said, my boy, man, grab that hole and bring it over here to me. Amen. And I remember one time he told me, grab that hole, you get in front of me. And then he said, Sister Kim, amen, I, I, come here, come here for a minute and help me out. Amen. He had me with the hole in my hand, and I'm, I'm digging in the front, and he gives her the sack of seeds and say, now, I want you to follow down right behind him and drop these seeds in the ground. Amen. He is a farmer. He is, man, you don't know, he is a photographer. Amen. There was one time in the home in which we lived, we had a bathroom that had been changed to a dock room. Amen. The dock room, you would go in and then hit the dog pictures the old time way. Amen. Because he was a photographer. Amen. Not only was he a photographer, he is a printer. Amen. Anything that you need print right now. Amen. I can't tell you Mr. Thomas can do it for you right now. Even now, he doesn't print the programs any longer. He kind of relished that responsibility to me. But every now and then, I get to scratch in my head. And I had to call downstairs and say, Bishop, how in the world do you do this? Or uh, Bishop, how do you do that? And he said, boy, I told you, you got to separate that paper. You got to hold it like this. Or you got to hold it like that because he is a printer. Not only is he a printer, he is a chef. Anybody know Mr. Taylor Thomas uh, Singer know that he can make some great peach cobbler? Anybody know Mr. Taylor Thomas Singer know he can fry a piece of chicken? Amen. You never had no chicken till you had it like Mr. Taylor Thomas. And look, my sons, we are mesmerized when we go around the house and he might be cooking cabbage. We try to learn how he do it. Amen. I was cooking cabbage trying to just boil it at one time. I didn't know he was supposed to put the seasoning in the water, the meat in the water, and let that boy then put the cabbage in. I was doing it all wrong, but one day I, I was eating it. And they said, uh, uh, Daddy, this cabbage ain't like your cabbage. He said, it's something about it. It hits the spot. <laughs> Talk about Bishop Cabbage. New kids will go over there right now and eat up something all day long. Amen. He is a chef. He is my father. He is a great father. He is a grandfather. He is a great grandfather. He is a tremendous example as a husband. He is a radio preacher. He is a pastor par excellence. He is a jurisdictional credit. And uh, there are people that all around the country call. They're having issues trying to finance their church. They're having issues trying to get this or that done. They call him seeking his wisdom because they can trace his faith and see what God has done 
as a result of his faith. Lord, have mercy. What kind of reflections does your faith check pass? What kind of reflections, what do we see as a result of our faith? Lastly, he is a general board member, a member of the presidium of the church of God in Christ. Our leader is many things to many people, but more than all of that, he is a man of great faith. Hebrews chapter uh, 10 and 11, rather, amen, gives us the Hebrews, heroes of faith. But I can't be taken today that I believe our leader can fit right in there. He can fit in there with Abraham and Deborah and all of them that are listed in Hebrews chapter 11. In fact, he don't have to fit in there because if you go to the end, you can't go in. And he, the two rows of faith don't get in until we come. And so if you keep the faith one day, we can all go in together. Look at your neighbor and say, whether you know it or not, you're going to be a hero. Lord. Hebrews 10 tells us that we ought to hold on to the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that hath promised. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and unto good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but so much the more as we see the day approaching. Uh, you don't have to look far to know that you need to have faith in God. You can just look around the corner and tell that the end is on its way. I began to preach today from Psalm 46, verse 10, that said, Be still and know that I am God. He says, I will show the heathen and I will show the earth. And what I began to glean from that text is that everything that's in the earth belongs to God. The Bible said everything that is therein. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And everything therein. And so God stresses in that text that not only will the earth know him, but he says the heathen will also know him. Well, the heathen is the one that does not have any faith in God. And so while God has not given us, amen, or taken our volition away from us, it's up to us to keep the faith. It's up to us to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Now, I just wanted to encourage somebody today as we celebrate a man that we've seen come to many dangers, cause and snares. Now, we've seen him climb from level to level. Now, and this signal to the saints has been consistent this entire time of ministry. Now, and I believe now, if we can just but keep the faith now, and God will do some great things in our lives. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, keep the faith. Uh, the truth of the matter is, uh, Hebrews 6 tells, 11 and 6 tells us uh, that without faith, uh, it is impossible uh, to please the Lord. Uh, for he that cometh to God must believe uh, that he is. Uh, is there anybody here uh, that believe God is? Uh, what do you believe he is? Uh, I believe uh, that God is real. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, holler at your neighbor. You're six feet away anyway. Uh, and you got your mask on. Uh, but even if they don't hear you, just tell them, neighbor, I believe Jesus uh, is real. Uh, I believe God uh, is real. Uh, the Holy Ghost huh, is real. Huh? The text says huh, that without faith, huh, it's impossible huh, to please him. Huh, for he is. Huh? You have to believe that he is huh, and that he is a rewarder huh, of them that diligently huh, seek the Lord. Huh? In other words, God is. Huh? God exists. Huh? God is real. Huh? If you don't believe God's real, huh? who are you praying to for the salvation? Huh? If you don't believe God's real, huh? who are you praying to for redemption? Huh? If you don't believe God's real, huh? who are you praying to for deliverance? Huh? If you don't believe God is real, huh? who are you praying to for peace? Huh? If you don't believe God is real, huh? who are you praying to for joy? Huh? If you don't believe God is real, huh? who are you praying to for strength? Huh? Well, I heard, huh? see, my 
shall the spirit read life everlasting and let us not be weary in well doing for in due season we're going to reap if we faint not so keep the faith don't give up don't throw in the towel it's going to get
yet we have to walk by faith and not by sight. And the Lord will keep us. I mean, they know he's a keeper. Come on and say he's a keeper. He's a keeper. Uh, he can keep you. I want to say thank you to Bishop Mark for that Amen. beautiful message. Amen. <laughs> we certainly thank God for St. Stephen's. Yes. Uh, this is uh, their celebration of my 29 years. They say that uh, we have been together 29. And, and uh, I like that 29, but what ain't no good of me saying that. <laughs> but I don't know how many more I got. Whatever they are, you keep on doing what you're doing. <laughs> and uh, we will certainly enjoy what you're doing. I want to say thank you to all of you. To the new community, you've been so great. And I'm looking at you Grimley here, yeah. uh, who is one of the founding members of this church, and still here, and look good, look, look like you moved out of life. Yes, I like you moved out of life, you know, and we're grateful. How many children do you have, Mom? How many children do you have? She had nine, the remote, nine children. And still 90 some years old. Hey, me, all y'all walking on the way. I had too many. And I ain't gonna have no one. And you keep on messing around. And the Lord will keep you. And um, we are grateful for what the Lord has done. I want to thank God for all my sons. service on the day. I count it a, a blessing. Yes. I count it a blessing. Uh, the Lord has allowed her to grow up and become grown and, and uh, death had laid it out of ranks. Uh, but we, we live by faith and uh, we are grateful for each one of them that are here today and for all of you. You've done such an outstanding job. And uh, it's just, uh, it's, it just make you happy. I felt like standing with all of y'all. And I was just playing with them as they stay in. But that's what, uh, well, whatever you've done. And today, when they, uh, with all, uh, we had to shift around. And this is a time that you've never seen. Um, and, and, and you all still give it. Ain't God something? Some folk crying and and uh, I hear tell them that they get get the psychiatrist because they are depressed and they don't know what to do and and, and it's just everything happening. Uh, but uh, when we look around and look what God has done for us, uh, yeah, I think I, I hear then I hear y'all saying someone about look what the Lord has done. And he has done great things for us. And uh, I want you to know I'm grateful for all you do and thankful for all you do. Uh, the Lord's going to bless you. You can't give to the Lord and he not bless you. Let me say that again. You can't give to the Lord and he not bless you. Uh, and when you give to God, God will give it back. And uh, he uses us, and this is where we build our faith. And uh, the Lord uh, sees your sacrifice, and uh, he will bless you and give it back. Uh, I, it's, uh, Lord, I was looking for someone that, and the way God, the leadership come in, but I guess, I guess I'm the end, let's see. Yeah, they got remarks and benedictions, so I'm, 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 I'm in. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> uh, uh, all right, well, Bruce, you can present that to Brother Mark. <laughs> yes, sir.
prayed for Mother Thomas, so she wanted to be here, but <clears throat> I told her, you better stay here and try to get her strength back up. But, but she's done fine. She just needs to pray for her appetite. And I'm like, devil, take your appetite. And, but but pray, pray for the appetite. And I think she'll be all right if we can get her to eat right. And, and he can do that. I mean, I mean, you know God can do it. See, I know y'all got a bread around your mouth, but say it behind the bread. Say it behind the